tragedies suck, but everybody's gut reaction is to approach this from the wrong angle. When a tragedy happens, for example, this recent shooting that happened a little while ago and the other shootings that have been happening, people want to do something about it. They want to try to fix the problem. They want to jump in there and make things happen. And people go in there, Let, how do we prevent this from happening? What can we do to stop this? And that is exactly the wrong angle I'm talking about. Because if we're going to face the truth here, you can't prevent these things. You cannot just stop them altogether. You may prevent individual instances of these the actions, and that's good, but you'll never just prevent them from happening altogether. You can't do some action or pass some law and then suddenly there'll never be a shooting again. That, that's impossible. So when we have everybody jumping up and down with this idea of what can we do to prevent this from ever happening, or how can we just stop this? What can we do to make this not a thing? Well, that's wrong. It's impossible to win when you approach it that way. When your goal is impossible to start, well, what are you going to achieve? What we have to do is when tragedies like this happen, we have to first accept that we're not going to always be able to stop these things. Sometimes a tragedy happens. Some person, ill of mind or whatever, gets a gun and they kill people. It, it's going to happen. Now, that doesn't mean we shouldn't do anything about it or just shrug and say, well, it happens. But what it does mean is we need to approach it from an understanding of this fact. We need to sit down and say, what can we do to ameliorate this? What can we do to make this less likely to happen? What can we do so that when this does happen, we can help the people who suffer, so that we can help prevent even more death in the wake of it? What can we do to minimize these events? If we approach it from that angle, we'll see that there's a lot we could do. Namely, of course, by first studying and understanding the actual problem, rather than jumping off the gun and just saying, oh, well, we need to fix things, let's just do it. But most importantly, we have to first have that realization that this is a part of the events of life sometimes. Sometimes somebody's going to kill people. And while we should always work to try to prevent this, we must accept first the fact that we cannot always prevent it and that nothing we do will be a magic bullet to fix it. And yeah, that's a little depressing. It's a little sobering. It's reality kind of comes crashing down when you look at it that way. But it's important. And it's not hopeless. You, we can, as a society, do things to fix this. We can do things to make it better, where if we see the signs of somebody becoming unstable, we might have a better safety net to catch them, to prevent some kind of psychological collapse. If we can get these people help, maybe we could help prevent these tragedies. If we look at the gun issue, we could figure out how better to control that situation, what steps need to be taken so that we can help to ameliorate gun flow so that we can make it so that people who don't need to be getting guns for whatever reason can't. But with all of that, again, that first level of acceptance must be that we can't just sit there and say, we'll stop this, because we won't. We have to sit there and say, what can we do to minimize the impact or the risk of it occurring? That is realistic and a bit sobering, yes, and maybe a little less ambitious than you would like to say, but it's reality. Reality is good and bad. And as much as we put value to life based on the joys and the good events, we have to measure life also by the bad events and take stock of them. And most importantly, accept that sometimes they just happen. Moving on from them, dealing with them, learning from them, and trying to prevent them when you can. That is the only true way you can actually evolve from these things. And you cannot do that without understanding the core issues of it. Namely, that, again, you're not going to be able to just wave a wand and prevent them. Just, it's sad truth, but it's true. So let's aim for realistic goals. Let's make this work with what we can actually do. Just something to think about.